Today, I want to go over the story of former President Donald Trump's private residence at Mar-a-Lago, Florida, being raided by a large group of FBI agents. I want to cover what we know so far and try to lay out without a lot of emotion what I'm seeing on left and right-leaning media sources. Uh, I'll also go over uh, what we know about the raid and also what we don't know about the raid. Uh, I don't usually do two videos in a day, so don't miss today's earlier video because there are some other outrageous stories uh, with information that will affect your life and your money, so make sure to check those out. Uh, so what we know about Trump's home being raided by the FBI mostly comes from former President Donald Trump himself uh, from a press release he issued on his Truth Social account. Uh, we've also learned from uh, Governor Ron DeSantis that his office was not made aware of this raid from the FBI or the Department of Justice. Now, earlier today, uh, most of the, the left-leaning media was covering a story about supposed leaked photos of documents and handwritten notes that Trump had ripped up and tried to flush down uh, the White House toilet. Uh, that story wasn't really going anywhere. And then around 6 p.m., uh, breaking news came out where we learned that a large group of FBI agents had descended on the Trump family home in Mar-a-Lago uh, with a search warrant to scour the former president's private premises. So there was a search warrant uh, that was most likely issued by a federal judge based on evidence from police or some government agency uh, showing that there was enough evidence that there could be some kind of a crime uh, to sign off on this particular uh, warrant. In this case, uh, the, the federal judge, after seeing the evidence, signed off giving the FBI and the Department of Justice authority to execute the raid on Donald Trump's home. The FBI waited until Trump was out of town to conduct the raid. So Donald Trump, Melania, and his team of Secret Service were all in New York City at Trump Tower when they uh, broke into the president's home. Now, as of this broadcast, he has not been arrested, and it doesn't look like there are signs that he is going to be arrested unless there's some criminal charge that comes out of whatever they took from the, the, president's, uh, the former president's home. Now, we know from sources, lawyers, and judges that the head of the FBI, Chris Wray, would have had full knowledge of this raid and would have personally signed off on it, being that this is the highest level raid in American history. We also know the head of the Department of Justice, Merrick Garland, would also have been fully aware of the raid and would have signed off on his end to go after the former president. It's also very likely that President Joe Biden would have been aware uh, of the raid because of the high level uh, of this case. Now, what isn't clear at this time is, did President Joe Biden order the investigation or the raid, or would he just have been made aware of it because it would be such a high profile case and so that he wouldn't be caught off guard when he did interviews or it was brought up by uh, the media asking questions. So again, we, we don't know any of that. I'm not speculating. I'm just trying to stick with what we know about former President Donald Trump's home being raided by the FBI. Now, as of right now, from sources close to the situation, they're saying that this is not connected to the January 6th Select Committee hearings uh, or the January 6th Capitol breach. However, many legal minds agree that if they happen to find something while searching for something else, it could be used against Trump down the road if the Department of Justice tried to pursue criminal charges against the former president for the January 6th situation. We also know that this is not a small matter, but the FBI and the Department of Justice, as of this filming, have not issued a statement publicly either. And many believe that they might not issue a statement for many days or many weeks, except for maybe to say uh, that we don't disclose uh, ongoing investigations and they would keep that information close to their vest, right? However, uh, never in our country's history 
as a former president had his home raided by the FBI or the, the Department of Justice or the police. Now, never has it appeared that a sitting president might have issued authority to go after a past and possibly future political opponent because Trump could announce that he's running and Joe Biden says he's absolutely running. And so this would be his future political opponent. Uh, either way, the optics are, are a bit confusing of what's really going on here. Now, from what I'm hearing and reading from sources, this seems to be about documents related to the, the National Archives uh, deemed as confidential being taken from the White House. However, many in D.C. say that this is common among parting presidents to take or uh, pack up items they believe are theirs, but then are later proven that they are not theirs. Um, but does taking documents constitute a need for a raid on a former president's home uh, versus, say, working with their lawyers to retrieve the requested documentation, right? Um, many are saying this probably should have gone through legal channels versus a, a full-on raid from the FBI and the Department of Justice. You'll, you'll have to make up your own mind about that. Now, we know that it appears the FBI rounded up electronic equipment, uh, files, about 15 boxes of items, and according to former President Donald Trump, uh, they forced open the president's private personal safe. Uh, there is no word about the contents of what was in that safe and whether they took anything, uh, but it was forced open. Um, and, and so that, that uh, detail has come out. Now, Trump has not made any other public comments as of right now, but his daughter-in-law, Laura Trump, said the former president was caught off guard and very disturbed by the violation of his private residence and the lack of communication uh, to his legal team. Uh, now, I know many of you that watch my daily news show, uh, many of you love Donald Trump, while others of you have very bad feelings towards the former president. So I'm just trying to lay out what we know about the raid so far and, and not inject an opinion or a lot of emotion. Now, likely tomorrow, I'll have more details to be shared with you from both sides of the aisle, left-leaning media, right-leaning media, and I'll just try to cut through what, what we actually know and don't know. My guess is uh, Republican leaders will, as early as tomorrow, uh, demand and subpoena the head of the FBI, Chris Wray, and the Department of Justice head, Merrick Garland, to come in and testify before Congress on the need for a, a public raid of a former president. I would also guess that these two men will plead the fifth or say, we don't discuss ongoing uh, investigations, and it will be very unfruitful, uh, but but not uneventful, right? So there may be information that comes out about that. Again, a, a former president has never had his home raided, so this is either a, a very big show of force to get back documents or uh, go after the president under the guise of getting documents, uh, or there could be a very large criminal investigation that we are unaware of. This could be another witch hunt, similar to the Russia collusion story, uh, or this could be the weaponization of the justice system. Um, so there's a lot of paths that this thing could go down. I'm not saying which one I think it is, because I, I really don't know. I'm just trying to let you know what we know and don't know at this point. So hopefully it's not the latter, right? Like We hope that the United States remains a constitutional republic, not a banana republic, uh, that forces silence from opposing political opponents like Russia, Cuba, Ukraine, and elsewhere. So I'll continue to monitor this story and try to present both sides fairly of what we actually know versus wild speculation um, as I read what the left is thinking and what the right is thinking and then try to bring that to you guys. Now, before you go, make sure to check out the video from earlier today. Lots of really important information that you need to know. Also, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and have your notifications on. Have a good night, and I will see you on the next video.